so we have seen what is segmentation we, we the user thinks his program in segments like a main program separately then function methods objects local variables global variables etc now uh, segments they vary in length for example one pro one uh, function will be of size 50k other function will be of size 100k and so on so segments vary in length elements within the segments are identified by their offset from the beginning what do you mean by offset so for example this is at the zeroth line this is a function this function and we consider this as a segment so this is a zero this line is one this is two and this is that is called offset so elements within a segment are identified by their offset from the beginning of the segment in the above snippet starting from the name of the function zero line braces in first line and so on is said to be the offset a logical address is a collection of segments so uh, this creation uh, you uh, the segments is what we call it as here a logical address and each segment has a name and a length yes each segment like get array this is the name of the segment and in each line it has some statements and a length also if you say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, here some 9 10 so 10 is the length of this that is what i said it each segment has a name and the length so the address specify both the segment name so how you will address this the segment name and the line the offset within the segment uh, get array and zeroth line get array and first line and so on the segments are numbered and are referred by a segment number rather than its name so e while creation each segment get array will be given a number using that only it will be referred so if you see this this is this gives an user's view of a program uh, say for example the, the, the whole thing will be considered as a one process but how it will be it will be like subroutine stack symbol table main program sql and this we call it as a logical address so how the user view that is called the logical address then logical view of the segmentation so for example as i said it will be given a number so when you give a number 1 2 3 4 how it will be stored the one is stored here two is stored here three is stored here four if you see that this is one process but it is stored in different places so the necessity that they must be in a continuous memory location is eliminated here in the segmentation this is only one process but it is not in the continuous in this some other process segment uh, segmentation will be there so we rest uh, here the restriction that it should be in, in the previous continuous location contiguous location after one two should be there then after two the three should be here four should be here the, so continuous memory location should be occupied that is the condition in the contiguous memory location but here it has been eliminated by uh, using of segmentation